Hello, my friends. Today, there is a makeup tutorial on my channel on this look right here, which was intended to be a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial, but Valentine's Day came and went and it never got filmed. So here we are on the 3rd of March doing a anti-Valentine's Day makeup look thing. I'm disorganized, can you tell? Uni life, am I right? I say uni life, when actually I spend like 90% of my time watching Netflix and yeah. Um, okay, so if you like the look of this makeup that I'm wearing right now, then uh, please keep- is there something in my hair? Oh no, it's my ear, isn't it? I hate winter, it makes my brain just freeze. If you like the look of the makeup I'm wearing right now, then carry on watching the video to see how I achieved it. There you go. <laughs> Okay, so uh, as you can see, as normal, I've done one eye, my eyebrows, and my primer off camera. And we are just going to hop straight into doing the tutorial because I need to get filming. So, to start with, I am taking from the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette. Oh my god, it's still forming upside down. I'm taking this colour here, which is called Bori, uh, on a big old fluffy crease brush. And I'm just going to, well, what do you know? Pop it in the crease. So I'm using back and, uh, back and forwards, I can't actually talk, I'm using uh, backwards and forwards windscreen wiper motions just to get this blended up into the crease. Um, I'm going to take it a little bit higher than I would normally take a crease colour just because obviously we are going to be cutting out the crease later. So we kind of want it to be a little bit higher so that when we do cut the crease out, as you can see here, it does still peek through up at the top. And then circular motions around here just to blend it out. You can use as little or as much as this one as you want as we are going to be laying room. I can't actually talk at the moment, I've kind of forgotten how to do makeup tutorials. Um, I haven't done any in so long. And then also from the mascara palette, we are basically using the mascara palette for the whole tutorial. Just to warn you now. So I'm going to be taking a slightly smaller crease brush which has got like a tapered end to it so it's going to like fit nicely in the crease and I'm going to be taking this colour here which is called Zobo uh, on that brush and I'm just going to be popping that right on the end of it and just taking that directly through the crease and sort of like trying to shape out that cut crease shape at the end there with this colour. As you can see, we're already getting a much more defined crease shape with these. And then I'm going to go back in with that original fluffy brush with no extra product on it, and I'm just going to blend up slightly. Okay, like so. And then just to further, you could just leave it there and cut the crease out from there, but I'm going to further define it um, and go in with this colour called Calabar, which I think might actually be my favourite colour in the whole palette. I've always said if I was going to dye my hair another colour, I'd want to dye it a colour like that, with the glitter and everything. Some extra, as fuck. And then I'm just going to pop that through the crease as well, on a smaller um, pencil brush this time, just so it's a little bit more defined. We're really kind of defining that crease there and getting the shape in. It always helps with cut creases, I find, if you look down into a mirror when you're doing it and sort of keep your eye open so you can really sort of follow like the natural line of your crease. Um, I'm really not very good at cut creases, so I don't really know why I'm doing a tutorial with it, but, you know, I like them, so. I think my nose is unblocking a bit because I can actually taste the chai in this tea now, which is nice. Yesterday it was literally just like I was drinking hot water, like there was no taste whatsoever. So then I'm going to take a little bit more of Zobo and just blend that out a little bit more. And then I'm going to take the original brush but again with no extra product and just blend up with that. Okay, so now we've got the crease colours laid down, we can then go in and cut the crease out. So I'm going to be taking just my normal concealer, which is the MUA Cover and Conceal, um, and I'm going to do that thing where you put it... Where's my brush gone? Eh. Okay, and I'm going to be using some random lip brush that I think my nan gave me from Savers. It was like £2 from Savers. So I'm going to take a bit of my concealer and just kind of put it on the back of my hand, like so. And then we're just going to use the flat brush to cut out the crease. Again, 
just look down into a mirror. Honestly, take your time over this. It does take a while. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna start right in the inner corner of my eye. And just really carefully follow the natural line of my crease. And I'm not so much worrying about the opacity of the concealer just yet. I'm literally just trying to get the line down first of all. Before kind of blending away the concealer lines and everything. We'll do that when we've got that line down. So as you can see, we've now kind of got that vague line of the cut crease going. So I'm just going to go back in and define that even further. Like so. And now that we've got the crease carved out, we can move on to the lid space. So for the lid space, I'm first going to take this one here, which is just a bright gold colour called Casablanca. And I'm just going to take this on a flat, fluffy brush, a flat shade brush even. And I'm just going to pop that on top of that concealer base we've created, sort of like a third of the way in on the eyelid. Like so. And then I am going to take on a slightly smaller flat shader brush. I'm going to take this colour here called Giza, which is just a very bright champagne colour. Or tea first. And just go over that space. There. And then I'm just going to go back and forth between the two brushes to kind of get a nice seamless blend between the champagne and the gold. And then for a bit of extra sparkle just where we've put the champagne colour, I'm going to take the NYX um, Roll On Shimmer in the shade Platinum. Again, on that same brush, I'm just going to take it off the top like so. And just pap it. Pap. Nice and just pack that on top of the champagne that we've already placed down. Okay, so for the little purple bit that we've got running through the crease, I'm gonna take the NYX um, Vivid Brights uh, eyeliner in the shade Vivid Blossom. <coughs> and again, this is probably the hardest that, the hardest bit that this tutorial is gonna have in it. Um, so don't don't sweat it just take your time look down again and just kind of trace out the shape of the thing i'm going to put the camera down a little bit so you can actually see what i'm doing because i think i'm going to go off ca off camera if i don't Now we are going to move on to the black eyeliner, so I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Master Ink eyeliner again and just doing a normal winged eyeliner with this. And I'm going to have to put the camera down again because otherwise we're going to go out the viewfinder. And now we can take off the sellotape and we've got a nice sharp wing. Okay, so now for the under eye, I'm just going to go back in with my concealer, the same one that we used before for the cutting out the crease. And I'm just going to pop that underneath my eyes, you know the drill. Same old, same old, blend that out with a sponge. And then set it with some powder. My voice went really weird just then. So then for the lower lash line, I am first going to take the same... Oh my god, I can't open the palette. I'm going to take Bori again on a little pencil brush and I'm just going to pop that underneath my eye through the lash line. So 
Does anyone else get like a line of eyeshadow in their eye when they do this? Or is that just me? You know, genuinely, I'd love to see what kind of crap is in my eyes. Like, the amount of glitter and shit I must have in my eyes must be crazy. So then I'm going to take the Morphe uh, E24 brush, which is just another really small, little tapered brush. And I'm going to take, again, uh, Giza, which is just the champagne colour. I'm going to take Giza and pop that in the inner corner. And then, just for the extra sparkle, I'm going to take the same glitter that we used before. Oh my god, I really have got something in my eye now. Just on the brush again. And pop that again in the inner corner over the top of that geezer. Like so. And then, that's the eyeshadow complete. So now I'm just going to add mascara and then we can move on to the rest of the face. I really need to replace my mascara again. It is drying out. It's almost as dry as my skin. I love tea so much. I actually can't get enough of it. And, okay, foundation. So, obviously, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless because I don't really use anything else. Um, I'm just going to pop a little bit of this on the back of my hand. I need to replace this as well. Luckily I've got some money. Not actually skint for once, which is nice. But I'm also trying not to spend too much. So I'm going on like a going out, um, like a nights out ban for a couple of weeks just because I spend so much money on nights out. It's ridiculous. So we're kind of toning them down. So I'm just going to dot this around my forehead. Around my forehead? Around just my face in general. Like I normally do. I might actually try a different foundation this time um, round. I don't really ever have more than one on the go at a time, like I don't, because I don't really wear foundation that much. I tend to not really try any others, like I stick to the one that I like, but I really might just branch out a little bit now. And then I'm going to use the Real Techniques blending uh, buffing brush and I'm just going to blend that out. And now I look like a ghost. Nice one, good look. So to add a little bit more shape and colour back into my face because I am literally looking like a flat ghost right now, which is not a look for anyone. I am going to take the Sleek Contour Kit in the shade Light as I normally do um, and just take uh, the Real Techniques Geo Fibre Contour Brush and just pop that underneath my cheekbones. And then for a little bit more colour and blending, I'm going to take a little bit more of that colour on the um, bigger Geo Fibre brush, I think it's called like the face brush or something, um, and just use really big sort of circular motions to just kind of blend out the contour we've already put down and add a little bit more colour. Got a big old spot erupting there, not happy about that. And I'm also just going to take that down on my jawline. The light from the window I'm in front of really washes me out, so it looks like I've literally done nothing to my face, but I promise I have. The difference in real life is so much bigger. And I'm also just going to put that around my temples a little bit. And then just a dusting either side of my nose. Just to get some more dimension there as well. So to add a little bit more colour back into my cheeks, I'm going to take the Max Factor um, Creme Puff Blush in the shade Alluring Rose, which is one of my favourite blushes I've got. I do, oh my god, I have this other one that's like a dark red colour from Sleek, it's called Coral, and I really, really love it, but I've lost it and I don't know where it is. <coughs> oh my god, is that it? I literally just put it in the wrong drawer. 
that's frustrating. Um, I'm going to take that on an angled uh, blush brush and just... I can hear noises in the flat but I don't know if anyone's in or if it's just me being paranoid. I know people are in but are they in the kitchen next to me or... Is it Rhiannon coming back? I don't know. I don't know. I tend to like to put blusher a little bit further up rather than just like, like directly on the apples of my cheeks just because of the way my face works. I've got quite big cheeks here so I don't want to like draw too much attention to them so if I put it there it sort of like slims down the outside of my face and makes my face like more angular there so. Blush is really about finding like what shape works for your face I find and like I didn't really start wearing blusher until like a year ago so kind of just found like what works for me and then for highlighter which we are going to go ham on I'm going to take the sleek solstice palette and I'm going to take a small this is the Real Techniques setting brush I'm going to take these two colours as always mixing them together and just putting that on the high points of my face and I like to take it right up to my brow bone Like so. Because of how pale I am, you can't even see that I put highlighter on, but like I have, I promise. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put that on my nose as well. I don't put it all the way down my nose, I literally put it on the tip and on the bridge of my nose, and that's it. A tiny little bit on my brow bone, and then on my cupid's bow and my filtrum. I didn't even know that this bit of your lips here, this like little fluty bit here, is called your filtrum. I didn't know that, but it is. And I like putting highlighter there. Oh my god, are you okay? Sorry. Um, and I think that's all the highlighter we need today. So, that's the face finished. Cool. I can't remember what I put on my lips in the picture. Let's have a look. I think it was Celebrity Skin. So, as always, I literally need to start using different lipsticks. Um, I'm going to take the Jeffree Star uh, Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Celebrity Skin, because, as we all know, it is my perfect nude. Um, and I'm just going to pop this on my lips. I find I've really started overlining my lips since I got my braces off. I don't know if that's just me. And then once that's dry, we are basically going to defeat the point of it being a matte lipstick. You could leave it matte if you wanted to. And actually, I know in the picture that I posted, I did do a glossy lip, but I do kind of like it matte, actually. It kind of doesn't detract from the eyes too much then, does it? I don't know if I should leave it matte for this one. I think I'm going to leave it matte for this one, actually, because I kind of like it a lot. Okay, so, yeah, if we're going to leave that matte, that is the finished look. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please give it a like and a comment to tell me what you want to see next. I do want to start doing more makeup tutorials. I've got my paintbrushes literally staring me at the face, in the face right now. I haven't done any body painting or special effects or anything since, like, October, I think, for Halloween. Um, and I kind of feel a bit bad about that because it used to be, like, my thing and now it's not anymore. And I kind of want to get back into it. So if there are any ideas that you want me to do... Um, or paint or make or create or something then please uh, let me know in the comments That's very sweet. and oh hiccups oh I forgot about my tea again and I will see you in my next video um yeah hope you have the best rest of your day or evening whenever you're watching this and Thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to spend time with me. It means a lot, and I'll see you in my next video.